The team this year has been young. We graduated a huge senior class last year, so through the weeks in the summer and leading up to the season, it was really fun to see all these guys come together. Go. I don't know if I've ever had a varsity group that I've been a part of at least that had such a, a wide range of sophomores, juniors, and seniors. JC was a surprise to me. My goodness. Uh, I see this kid and he comes up to me, introduces himself and says he's going to help us out this year, help be our team manager. He's, he's always bringing positive energy to our team. I mean, I love JC. I think our whole team loves him. He's just, he's been so awesome in a lot of different ways. He's been unbelievable. I'm doing the water boy and uh, helping out with the equipment. JC is a resilient, strong, young man. He was born with autism. He was diagnosed when he was three years old. We were told that life would be challenging, that he would possibly never speak. Um, he had lack of fine motor skills, lack of uh, gross motor skills, uh, and of course verbal communication issues. We didn't know what was going to become of our son, uh, the life that we thought that we were going to have was different, so we had to learn to navigate. One of the things that we realized early on was he loved football, and football has just been always something that he's gravitated to. When he first started at Sunset High School, he knew that there was a football team. He followed every single game, every single player. Every Friday night he would sit with his phone and watch the games as they're streaming and, and he really, really wanted to be a part of the program. He wanted to make friends. Last spring, he sent an email to Coach Merrick, Go. unbeknownst to us, <laughs> we had no idea. And I'm not, I still to this day, I don't, we don't know what it said, but it said something and uh, about him wanting to be a part of the football team. JC showed an interest and we said, yeah, we'd love to have you. Talked to Coach Merrick and he said, yeah, we'll give it a try. Let's, let's have him be on the team. And I said, you know, he just wants to, he just wants to be involved. He just wants to be included. To be honest, didn't really know what to expect. He wants to be like other kids. And so we kind of took a step back and let him do his thing. We'd ask, how was practice? Great. Every day's great. Every day that there's football, it's a great day. Um, and then there's a couple times when I would pick him up from practice and I would see some of the players talking to him and engaging with him and saying, hey JC, see you later, hey JC, great, great to see you today, thanks JC. And his mom, that's all you ever want, it's for your kid to feel like he's included. I feel very happy. He feels like his job is that important, that he can't let anybody down. A lot of people, encourage me to do better. He's just a great part of this team. We all love him. Friday night games are the best. I can't say enough about this program. I can't say enough about the kids, their families, our coaches, Coach Merrick for taking a chance. I don't think she realizes how great this has been for our kids. This just wasn't given to him. They didn't just open the door and say, hey, come on. He worked hard for it. He advocated for himself, and he had a passion, and he has a goal, and he has a dream. And to see his dreams come true, it's just amazing. It's what we always hoped for.